The Bank of Canada is set to make a big announcement today on the interest rate. Haley Wooden with Business in Vancouver joins us now. So Haley, what can we expect? I think that what's largely expected is that nothing's going to change. Everyone expects that the Bank of Canada will hold its rate steady at 0.5%. It's been a very sluggish year in terms of growth at the national level. In the third quarter, we did see some better than expected GDP numbers, but ultimately when you break it down, business investment has been weak. Any new jobs added to the economy tend to be part-time work over full-time positions. And in October, Bank of Canada Governor Stephen Polaz downgraded Canada Canada's growth outlook for the remainder of the year. Now, while we're expected to hold steady south of the border, it's widely expected that the U.S. Fed will be hiking its interest rate sometime this month. Typically, Bank of Canada and the U.S. Federal Reserve are in lockstep when it comes to their fiscal policy decisions. The U.S. is expected to be in for much more growth in our economy here, especially when you factor in some of the proposed policies of President-elect Donald Trump, infrastructure spending, a stimulus package, tax cuts, TD economists anticipating that next year is really going to be the domination of the U.S. dollar and any interest rate hikes south of the border have an impact on weakening our Canadian dollar here. All right, and speaking of the U.S., some interesting news about uh, the, one of their biggest trading partners. Of course, we've always thought it was Canada, but it looks like Mexico is overtaking us when it comes to exports of goods into the U.S., they certainly are on track to do so, and if the trend continues, this will be the first time that Mexico has actually sold more goods to the U.S. than Canada has. When we look at the first 10 months of this year, Mexico has sold 15 billion U.S. dollars more in goods to the U.S., largely attributable to the automobile manufacturing industry that makes up more than a third of Mexico's exports to the United States. That country has secured many multi-billion dollar contracts and ties between both countries, despite some of Donald Trump's plans have really been strengthening over the last number of years. We are expecting to see next year that that might change. And the, of course, Donald Trump has been very vocal about bringing jobs back to the U.S. economy. He singled out the auto manufacturing industry. Ultimately, at the end of the day, salaries in Mexico much more competitive than the salaries we have here. We've seen some growth in that area here in Canada. We'll see if the trend continues for the rest of 2016 and beyond when we do see a new American president. All right, Haley, thank you very much. Haley Wynn with Business in Vancouver.